Hi dear students, let's continue with DNA repair. Today we are going to deal with nucleotide excision repair. Nucleotide excision repair, it involves removing the uh, nucleotide completely rather than the base as we had mentioned earlier in base excision repair. In a nucleotide excision repair, uh, you know what's a nucleotide. It will contain a base sugar as well as a phosphate. So these three components are being completely removed with the help of uh, the enzymes which participate in the nucleotide excision repair. This is usually initiated by enzymes that sense distortions in the DNA backbone and replace a short stretch of nucleotide. It need not be a single nucleotide, but a small stretch of nucleotides can be removed by nucleotide excision repair. Now, for example, uh, six enzymes in E. coli, they excise a short stretch of DNA containing thymine dimers if the dimerization is not reversed by photoreactivation. We have mentioned earlier about photoreactivation and with the thymine dimers uh, closely okay, uh, close by located Time and dimers have been removed by exposure to the light energy. But in some cases, what happens when there are many stretches of th time and dimers which have been closely located, they might not get reversed by photoreactivation. In such cases, the nucleotide excision repair can work out. Now, two copies of protein products of UVRA gene of the ultraviolet light UV repair combined with one copy of the product of the UVRB gene to form a UVR A2 UVR B complex that moves along the DNA looking for the damage. You don't have to get worried uh, thinking about uh, the too much genes and all. I'll just go into the picture so it will be clear to you. Here what happens? You can see that there is a dimer over here and uh, rather than if a dimer is here but the photoreactivation was not able to change this dimer's problem. So what happens? Uh, the product of UVRA2 G, okay, two products of that UVRA2 as well as UVRB, they will locate the G. Now, what is UVR8 and U, what is UVRB? Okay, UVRA gene is mainly involved in the ultraviolet UV repair, and uh, another product of UVRB G, okay, so two copies of the UVRA gene and one copy of the UVRB gene will form a complex which will move along the DNA looking for a particular damage. So that's what we are seeing here. UVRA2 and UVRB, it locates the damage. And then what happens? Uh, UVRA uh, will, UVRA2 dissociates and UVRC attaches. Okay, you can look here. A2 is moving and UVRC is coming. So, UVRB nix the DNA on the 3 dash side. You just look, this is the 3 dash side. UVRB will nick the DNA on the 3 dash side, and UVRC will nick on the 5 dash side of the lesion. So, UVRB and then UVRC nick the DNA, and UVRD, another product, is a helicase. It unwinds the oligonucleotide with the dimer. UVRD is another protein. It is a helicase. It unwinds the oligonucleotide containing the lesion. After that, DNA polymerase 1 and uh, will come and uh, DNA ligase. So, DNA polymerase 1 will synthesize the DNA. You saw the DNA has been synthesized. And then DNA ligase comes and seals the nix uh, here as well as at this end as well as this end. Probably you would have a nix. So, the nix which have been remaining. Uh, after the DNA polymerase action are being removed by the action of DNA ligase. Like base excision repair, the nucleotide excision repair is uh, present in all organisms and in yeast approximately 12 genes are involved. And uh, this is sometimes called the RAD3 group. So uh, you can, uh, different organisms have different uh, level of proteins which have been involved in it. And in the case of human beings, we have about uh, 25 proteins which have been involved. And they remote uh, 27 to 29 nucleotides as compared to 12 to 13 in E. coli. So the number of proteins which are being involved in the uh, nucleotide excision repair will vary in different organisms. 
in equi we are having 12 to 13 uh, uh, nucleotides which can be removed and the number of proteins which are involved here you can see in this you in the previous slide you have uvra uvrb uvrc as well as uvrd and dna polymerase and dna ligase comes and acts but in the case of uh, eukaryotes it will be different now uh, in the case of yeast 12 genes are involved and in human beings we have 25 proteins involved now in the case of human beings there is something you can see this picture this is on a google search i got uh, this it's a disease which is uh, called as a xeroderma pigmentosum it is mainly caused by the inability to repair the thymine dimerization induced by uv light and it is a autosomal recessive trait uh, and the persons with this trait uh, they freckle heavily when exposed to uv rays of sun and they have a high incidence of skin cancer so when you you can understand what is the relevance of this repairing of the thymine dimers which have been formed by the uv rays if uh, we have two main uh, of course uh, there are mainly two mechanisms by which the thymine dimerization can be repaired one was with a photo reactivation and the second one is a nucleotide excision repair but we should remember that we human beings we have the what we have the nucleotide excision repair only for the thymine dimer uh, reverse or to repair the thymine dimers which have been formed the, by the exposure of uv rays when that is not properly working it would lead to a condition called the xeroderma pigmentosum and uh, as a result what happens uh, you can see pigmented skin on your surface and in many cases it could also lead to skin cancer now this process of nucleotide uh, base nucleotide excision repair it has been found to be highly linked to the transcription in the case of eukaryotes and uh, transcription factor 2h is mainly involved in the repair of the uv damage and it has a helicase activity as and it is found in both the process that is soon after the transcription as well as this transcription and nucleotide excision repair is being found together and so uh, when we are happening to do transcription itself if there is any uh, when they are going to do transcription itself if there is any uh, bases or nucleotides which has to be repaired that is simultaneously done since it has been shown that the genes are actively being transcribed and uh, preferentially repaired we can now envision a model in which transcription when blocked by a dna lesion like thymine dimer signals the formation of a repair complex using the tf2h in both processes so uh, what i need to mention that is that uh, if there is an error ahead the transcription will be delayed over there and the repair complex will come in repair it and then further the transcription will be followed in the case of eukaryotes in the case of prokaryotes the rna polymerase dissociates from the dna in this circumstances and uh, the first transcript of the uh, that's called the nascent transcript that nascent transcript will be lost in the case of uh, prokaryotes so that is the relevance of the nucleotide base uh, nucleotide excision repair hope so this is clear to you we will be continuing with the next type of repairs repairs in the next sessions thank you for now if you want to just have a look you can see these are the enzymes you we are a you we are b you we are c and you uh, you have also you we are d here then dna polymerase 1 and dna ligase but these proteins are mainly being found in the what e coli in the different organisms the proteins which have been involved would be the different but the mechanism would almost be similar so with this we come to an end of the base x nucleotide excision repair thank you guys